you tried that. You copy me, that's my sweat. That's my style, give it back. Three words. I said trick! Hey creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? So um, if y'all haven't noticed, YouTube has launched this new thing called YouTube Shorts, and I have partnered with them. So y'all might see me post a couple of shorts sometimes. Please show those the same attention that you would show my regular videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And while I got your attention, make sure if you're new, you hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications so you can get notified when I post a video. Also hit that thumbs up. And what can I ask you guys in the comments today? Um, what was your longest relationship? And I mean like monogamous, no cheating, anything. What was your longest relationship? Put that in the comments, okay? Put how long it was and what age you were. Okay, y'all, my air is messed up upstairs. If I look a little sweaty, I'm sorry. But we're finna watch a movie. It was sent in by my friend, Brian ENT. So I hope it's good, you guys. Go get your drink or your weed, whatever. I got me some um, Jack and Honey. It's, oh my God, it's sweating. Yeah, let's start this movie and let's get into it. I'm a little scared. See, don't start this shit. Okay. Who's there? Right. Bitch, throw the pillow at the dog. Who's there? They not gonna answer you. Get the lamp. What did you get? <laughs> Bitch, we not finna open no mail. I've got a knife. You got a pick. Grab the lamp. Uh-uh. I'm gonna call the cops. Oh, girl. Lie. That's a cute little color your toes out. Fix that picture. Oh, girl, he watching. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Over with. And I wake up. Screaming. She wakes up screaming. Almost every night now, whereas before it was just a, a bad dream here and there, you know? Um, it's the same every time. What do you think it means? Hey, hey man, we've already seen a bunch of shrinks about this. We came here for your... Your voodoo magic or whatever it is you do. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Riley read the threads online that says you have a, a special talent of some kind. I don't know. It says you're a witch doctor or something. <laughs> I don't know what rumors you've heard. Man, do it. Just as some knowledge is. Or was, at least. So, no, I, I don't do magic tricks. See, babe? That's not I what it's doing. You just need to call another psychologist. But it's real. The goal is real. I'm, I'm not crazy. You're probably suffering from a traumatic event. No, right. no, no. The ghoul is attacking me in my dream and nobody can help me because nobody believes me. Hey, right. Uh, Riley, I believe you. Okay, yeah. Just, let me take it easy, all right? Let me handle it. Doc, we drove over 12 hours to get here. 
And he pulls in. We're sorry to barge in on you like this. We're just looking for a little guidance. Riley hasn't had a decent night's sleep in months. If you don't want to help her, fine. The least you can do is just point us to someone who can. Right. Look, I don't know how you two found my home. Now, I only invited you inside out of courtesy. I'm truly sorry for what you're going Shut through. Shut up! I'm not practicing anymore, so I cannot offer you any professional help. Unfortunately, no. If you'll excuse me. Nigga, we didn't need... Wait. Dr. Brady, you don't know what this dream is like. You've got to help me, please. Show me your arms, babe. Show him. He's scared. <laughs> He's scared. I'm with you. Right. Spoo. Hey, look, I, I don't know what it is you do for people, but between you and me, I just think she needs a little pseudo reassurance. You know what I mean? Forgive me, but you said your name was Brian. Well, Brian, I don't think she should be lied to either. Help me out here, man. Obviously, she's hurting herself. No. I don't know who else to turn to. You know, she really thinks you're the only person that can help her. You gotta give me something here, man. I want you to wait outside. Right. Why? Because you know if you do, then I might be able to help her. Trust me. Because he don't believe. They need everybody in there who believes the energy. So why you lie in the beginning and say you didn't do it? You stupid. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think Riley Rose is a lovely name. <clears throat> Years back, I had this patient. For privacy, I'll just call her Miss Madison. Older woman, very sweet. She came to me about this nightmare she'd been having. Over and over. She'd hear sounds coming from her yard late at night. I don't like this. Uh-uh. It was horrifying for her. But we both knew this dream had to mean something. Right. And so I pressed on it. Then she broke down. Told me her son was killed in a car accident six months prior. His dead body haunting her. A zombie, if you will. What are you getting at? Nightmares are almost always correlated with traumatic experiences. And there's times where we repress these memories in order to cope. So... Maybe something happened to you that you have forgotten. But I haven't forgotten anything. How do you know, girl? The goal in my dream is what's attacking me. You know, I treated a patient who thought as you do. He told me there was this witch that stalked him every night in his dreams. She would watch 
in the dark. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. See? It took us a long time to go through these memories. Figure out where it came from. We dug through everything. And eventually, we found out what it was. An old film he had seen as a child. It was that simple. Look, I'm not dealing with Freddy Krueger here, all right? The point. Girl, listen! Is that even the silliest things could trigger us, Miss Rose. Yes! Our brains, they repress these kinds of memories all the time. But then how do you explain how I got these? I believe the trauma has caused you to repress it, but I need you to remember. It gotta so be her. Really, you really don't believe me then? It gotta be her husband. You think that my nightmares are fake? Why would a ghost want to hurt you in the first place, my dear? Because they're psychopaths. They're deranged and ruthless and they find pleasure in hurting people. Please. I haven't slept in months. I'm scared all the time. And I swear to you, Dr. Rudy, I'm not crazy. Nobody believes me and I'm all alone. And if you can't help me, then this, it's all over. That's all. Oh, girl, she's stressing me out. Help this woman. Can I trust you to keep a secret? Girl, yes or no? Can I? Miss Madison's son. I met him. You mean, like in person? In her dream. In the nightmare. It's all true. I have a talent. I merge with dreams. Yes. Do you, do you kill the ghost in the dream? You're not hearing me. The ghost is the effect. It's not the cause. It's yes. I need you to focus on what's actually causing, causing the nightmare. Me. Yes. Because that's not why I came here, Dr. Brady. I came here for your gift. Tell me, Miss Rose, how many times have you looked the devil in the eye? Oh, see. Me. I've lost count. You see, ever since I was a little boy, I've known what it feels like to walk the halls of hell. What's going on? Visiting a nightmare is not my idea of a good time. They're just dreams. Why are you so scared? Because I don't know how I'm able to do this, Miss Rose. Whew. There is no 
diagnosis for it. A mutation, perhaps. I don't know. I can't explain it. And no amount of treating patients or visiting dreams ever got me closer. This movie got me. I can't even talk. But maybe... Maybe you're right. Maybe it is a gift. Maybe even divine. And... And if that's true, then what do I tell God if I don't use this gift of his? It's okay. If I don't use it against the ghosts. The way I see it, Miss Rose, there are only two choices. What's that? Face the ghosts. Or shame from God. <sighs> you tell me. Which would you choose? Child, mind my business. I can't tell you have this gift for I ain't got nothing to do with it. Brady. Girl, she just wanted to fix you. Now, I don't know what it is that you do in these dreams or how you do it. But I came a really long way today for a little bit of God's help. Selfish. So please. If I do this, if I merge with your dream and confront this ghoul, I need you to promise me something. Wait a minute! We wanna know! They could have been in there having sex, he wouldn't even know. You just chilling outside. <laughs> Believe the whole stranger. <laughs> Go outside. It won't work without you. It's just me. Does it break? What are you doing here? What's going on? What was that? You listen to me. No matter what happens, you stay here in this room. Understand? But why? What are you doing? Just stay, stay in the here. room, stupid. Dr. Reed, wait. Girl, shut up! Wait, 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 wait. Girl, they said stay in the room and shut up. Right, it comes out that thing and she think it come out the front though. Right, exactly. Bitch, stupid! He said, stay there! Got me spitting and shit. Dr. Rady? Here she go. The man said, stay there. Dummy! are never that scary when we step into the light. So how about we get this over with? Are you alright, Dr. Brady? Oh, yeah. I'm alright. You were having a nightmare. I was? Or 
Maybe you weren't. What's happening? Do you remember what happened? I don't know. I was having the same dream, but it was different this time. How so? I think you were there. But nothing happened. I didn't see the ghoul or anything. I was, I was in my room. I was a little scared, but nothing actually happened. Then maybe this means that you can finally get some sleep. No. Mm -mm. Did you really enter my dream? Or did you just make me think you could? Does it matter? What matters is that you feel safe. You're going to be okay, Miss Rose. Mm-mm. Boyfriend, huh? No. No, you're a snake. Ooh. You've been beating that poor girl for years. Lucky for you, her trauma gave you the perfect scapegoat. A ghost in her dreams. <laughs> and now you've twisted this so well that she can't even point to you as her abuser. All of it repressed. But I know all too well Ooh. how to spot a psychopath, Brian. Ooh. It's a gift. They've been a fight! Ooh. So what does that make you? You're just a scam artist, aren't you? Washed up. Quack. Beat his ass! Why don't you have a look in the mirror first? Beat his ass! I think that was a mistake. Oh, he finna give him all the... Ooh, he finna give him them traumas! Oh, bitch, it's on! What is that? He's giving it to him! Let me go. Let me go. Magic trick. They're gonna torment you. Let me go. Let me go. Who are you? What do you want? This isn't real. This isn't real. That's the thing, Brian. You are still screaming. Me something. I need you to promise me that you will escape and no one will ever lay a hand on you again. Not here, not anywhere. 
Not even in a dream. Oh. boyfriend i at first i didn't i thought it was really like a dream and she was having nightmares but then you kind of picked up on like oh it's the boyfriend the boyfriend doing it um i give that like a i give it a b the reason i give it a b is because the people kind of didn't look as scary the more we got into the movie um but it was good it was good i like how they wrote it out it was it was good but she could have been a little bit better than acting, but the black guy did really good. The boyfriend did really good. The girl was all right and the scared people were all right. But overall, it's a B. Some people might give it a C if it was a Rotten Tomato, but you know, I'm lenient or whatever the case may be, but um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Mm, okay. All right, y'all, I hope you liked it. Make sure you send me some more videos. Um, I didn't talk as much on this one because like, when it's kind of good, I be in it. So, okay, thank y'all. Follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and like I always say, God only made one you, and if you don't be you, then nobody else will. Until then, cue the music.